हे ऑल हाउ हैव यू ऑल बीन आई एम सॉरी फॉर बीइंग एब्सेंट हियर फॉर अ वाइल नाउ देयर आर सम अप्स एंड डाउन्स इन लाइफ दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू अब्सॉर्व एंड फिगर आउट अ वे एनीवे दिस डेज आई हैव बीन इनटू रेसिपी बुक्स आई फाउंड सम ऑफ देम ऑन अमेजन एंड वाज फैसिनेटेड बाय द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ रेसिपीज दैट आवर कंट्री हैज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कल्चर्स आई लव साउथ इंडियन फूड एंड आई डिसाइडेड टू लर्न मोर अबाउट इट This book is by author Chandra Padmanavan from Karnataka and this recipe is inspired from the book. I'm going to make ash god curry. आलू कैप्सिकम फ्राई स्पिनच डाल एंड एजगॉड पील चटनी In a curry, I'm going to add some coconut oil. To that, I'll add mustard seeds, curry leaves, and cut ash gourd, and then add the soaked tamarind water and let it boil until it's cooked. Mama. Mama. I will also boil some moong dal with two whole tomatoes. For the aloo capsicum I'll add some dry red chilies and jeera seeds to the oil and then add cut boiled potatoes to that I'll add cut capsicum along with turmeric salt red chili powder and jeera powder and that's it For the rasam tadka, I'll add some chopped garlic, dry red chilies, mustard seeds, and curry leaves, and add the chopped methi leaves along with the boiled dal and masala paste. For the ash god peel chutney I will roast some urad dal chana dal jeera and coriander seeds dry red chilies and grind it into a powder I will then add whole garlic cloves along with boiled ash god peels and chopped tomatoes I'll grind everything into a coarse paste along with roasted masala powder so good just a simple satisfying meal makes my day zain is parts as much as mine so it becomes equal responsibility for both of us to take care of his needs 
During his meal, bath time or play time, we both take our turns when possible so that his chores do not become one person's responsibility and we both can bond equally with our child. This is the new age parenting parampara which we both go by. When it comes to Zain skin care, Cetaphil baby products recommended by pediatricians is one new age parenting thing that we have adopted from his birth. Cetaphil baby products are enriched with organic calendula flowers, shea butter, aloe vera, glycerin and much more. All their products are completely tear free and paraben free, alcohol free, mineral oil free and hypoallergenic. The Cetaphil Baby Massage Oil with Shea Butter and Sunflower Oil helps preserve Zane's skin's moisture barrier. The Cetaphil Baby Shampoo with Natural Chamomile and Aloe Vera is completely tear-free and also ensures it cleans his scalp and retains the moisture. The Cetaphil Baby Body Wash with Glycerin and Pro Vitamin B5 cleanses his skin without causing any dryness. After his bath time, Pat takes over and makes sure that he is tidily dressed for the day. This is our little getting ready for the day fun tradition. What is your parenting ki nahi parampara? You too can try this new age parenting parampara by shopping for Cetaphil baby products. Links are in the description box below. It is though very difficult to find time to do anything for myself with Zain these days. It's such a dilemma of not doing enough for your child. If I spend all my time with him, it gets overwhelming and if I don't spend enough time, I feel guilty. Hence, I decided to do something which makes me happy. There were these shopping bags lying around. I decided to paint on them and make it look pretty. I put some tape according to the design I chose that you can see on my phone and now I'm going to paint it with different colors. I used carbon paper to trace the design onto the bag. However, the outline became too dark and was seen even after I finished painting on it. To achieve the desired color, I'm mixing colors. For example, I mixed brown and green to get a dark green color. This one is for Kaya. There's one super easy hack I found to paint watermelon. These are stationary pouches that were just solid white color. I'll transform them into something really cute.
I also got this handkerchief for Kaya to carry to school with her lunch box and so it doesn't get lost. I thought I will embroider her name onto them. These pants I got for Zane, the elastic on the waist was so loose that it fell off often. I got some elastic from Amazon and I will replace the elastic with this one so that it fits his waist well. I made a slit in the middle of the waistband and filled it with the new elastic and then now I will sew it back. While the paint on the bags also dried well. How pretty are they looking? You should try it too. It's totally worth the time. It's dinner time and since it's a weekend, I decided to be little ambitious and try making Delhi street style mutter and aloo kulcha. I'm using instant yeast for kulcha to give that authentic taste. You would get one. Now. For the aloo kulcha, I will grate boiled potatoes along with salt, red chilli powder, jeera powder and amchur powder, chopped onion and chopped coriander leaves. This street style mutter is very raw. We don't have to cook it in oil. We just add chopped onions, tomatoes, coriander leaves, chopped green chilies, tamarind pulp, green chutney, some red chilli powder, jeera powder, chaat masala, amchur powder, ginger juliennes along with some lemon juice. These aloo kulchas were so amazing, I bet it was better than the restaurants. It's the next day, 6 a.m. Monday morning, and I'm rushing like always to make Kaya's lunch box.
I'm making her some stir fry veggies today. I'll boil the carrots and baby corn since those take time to cook. Rest of the veggies like broccoli and mushroom, I'll just directly stir fry them. In one cooker, I have put the rice to boil and the other cooker has veggies to steam. I'm also making her bread roll-ups. For that, I will flatten the bread, then add some mayo as a layer and add a cheese slice on that. And then roll and toss it in some butter till the cheese is melted. For the stir fry, I have added some chopped garlic in oil, then the veggies along with some soya sauce, vinegar and chilli sauce. Here's the hanky I embroider her name with and also the pencil pouch that I DIY'd yesterday. Bye. I have to go vegetable shopping and now my boring shopping bag looks so pretty. I realized this way of storing vegetables in boxes really does well for longer duration. Only corn is it's time consuming. However, I had very few vegetables to buy so I could use boxes to store most of them. For the loki and brinjal, I wrapped them with the newspaper and stored them in the vegetable basket in the fridge. <coughs> Removing the stems from green chilies helps to store them for long time. Also adding paper towels helps them to stay dry and doesn't get spoiled easily.
This is how I store coriander leaves and it stays good for more than 10 days. I had some old coriander leaves that was going bad so I decided to make green chutney with it and store it in the fridge. For that I have added coriander leaves, green chilies, garlic, salt and lemon juice. For lunch, we are having some aloo jeera, dal and parval sabzi. Sometimes all a simple thali needs is papar and green chutney, food for the soul. Every evening Zane demands to go out to the park and now since he is growing he loves outdoors and wants to spend most of his time out. The elastic of the pants that I have stitched for Zane fits him perfectly now and the tote bag that I painted looks so cool. I love it. We are back home and it's dinner time. Tonight's dinner is very special. I'm going to try to make sushi for the first time. Kaya loves sushi and Korean food. However, ordering them is not only pricey on the pockets but also not as hygienic as home. I'm also going to make chicken bulgogi. Let's see how it turns out. To the cut slices of chicken, I have added spring onions, red chilli powder, gochujang, soya sauce along with some rice vinegar and grated apples. For the sushi, I will blend some spinach. But all those carrots are rotten. It's not, it's just the color. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me try. Oh. Wait. And cut thin slices of carrots, cucumber, and egg.
and look at my sushi i'm so proud of myself i always thought making sushi would be so difficult it's like those small joys of life for me <laughs> And here's my Korean style dinner ready. I don't need to go to this hole in the pocket restaurants anymore, I guess. I did a good job. Though Parth isn't a big fan of this unusual food, he loves his typical food. Me and Kaya, we are very happy trying new food, especially Asian cuisine. And that's it for today's one. I really hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching till the end. I'll post a new video really soon and that's a promise this time. Since I have been already working with a new video, for now, bye and take care.